hello and welcome to a North Wales side by side video. What I'm going to show you in this video is the hookup points for the 12 volt battery for being able to charge it if you go to your car and you find it won't start because the 12 volt battery has gone flat. There are a few options that you've got open to you. And I'll run through them one at a time. But the first one I'm going to show you is the option that's open to most people. So, I'm going to go out to the car now. And I'll show you the hookup points in the fuse box. And you can use this hookup point for two options. You can either use this hookup point for a jump pack to get the car going at the side of the road or you can use this hookup point to put let me get a battery charger your battery charger onto it and leave the battery charger connected to charge the car but this only works if you've got access to a power point and off road parking as a few of the other options do so We'll go out to the car now and I'll show you where the hookup point is. Right, we're out of the workshop now. I've already got the bonnet up on the car because I've just been going through my weekly checks on top in the screen wash up, which are all really easy on these cars. As you know, screen washes on the driver's side that's a visible check for that coolant level brake fluid is also a visible check through the the brake master cylinder reservoir but the bit we're interested in is our fuse box on the passenger side under the bonnet of the car there's three little tabs one two three which have got to be squeezed in So I'm going to squeeze them in now, one at a time, that one's off. It's quite hard to do with one hand. And I'm right handed, there we are. So that gets the fuse box lid off the car. We'll just lay that there safe. That brings us into the fuse box and you're looking for this connector here where it's red with a positive on it. Now this is a safety cover. Just pull that back and you're presented with the post here which is the post you put your jump starter on but you can also use it for charging the battery so you will connect if you're using a jump pack positive to there and then you can use any of these bolts because they are directly bolted to the car as a negative so if you're going to put a jump pack on you go positive negative jump the car from this position if you're going to put your charger on again positive negative turn your charger on let the battery charge through this port so that's where the jump pack and the charging port is so let me put the lid back on because we're finished under the bonnet Okay, that's the lid back on the other option you've got is as I've done driver side rear door open it you're in the rear compartment now seat and then 
Underneath the seat, this plastic panel is removable. And there's two little push pins. If you take that push pin out, and there is another one down here, and take this panel off, you will see the battery in here. I'll get the footage out of the other video I made to show you where the battery is. I've been promising this video for a little while and it's the first decent day I've had to come and get the 12 volt battery on my uh, Yaris GR Sport and it's found under the seat under here um, you do have to remove this panel but you'll find the positive connection this side the negative this side you can put your battery charger directly on to the battery but if you go into the effort of doing that it's worth spending a little bit of money and making up a wiring loom to come directly off the positive and negative as I've done here and put the wiring through to a plug you can get plugs like this from a good electrical store and there I've got the female plug which I just leave in a handy place to get to if I ever need to get to it just tucked up in the seat there nobody's going to get electrocuted off that it's safe so that's how I've got my car wired up then let's go into the workshop what I would advise anybody to do if they're going to leave their car for a period of time and they're worried about the battery going flat this is the chargers they sell that the motorcyclists use and these are battery maintainers these can be left permanently attached for months and months and months to a battery so what I've done with my maintenance charger is I've put the corresponding plug actually no I haven't I've put the same plug as is fitted to the car so that's the a female plug like I've got in the car onto the end of the charger wire and then I've made myself which I've got on the wall here two options let's just untangle that that plug on the end of that wire that plug there will go directly onto the charger then there's my my crocodile clips I could put that one onto the fuse box connector that one onto an earth under the bonnet that would then charge my battery up slowly because the charger only works at one amp your other option if you need to charge it a bit faster is get your battery charger with your positive and negative cables and once again positive to the connector in the fuse box and the earth to an earth point on the car and my charger happens to have quite a few settings on it 6 10 or 15 charge your battery that way there's one more option but you have to make a wiring loom up like I've done off the battery to a plug and then I've made this great big long lead up and I'll show you I would now connect 
because both of these plugs on this wiring loom are the same. I'd plug that one into there and the other one directly into my trickle charger. And I'd leave the car parked on the drive, run the cord into the workshop, run through to the charger and plug the other end into there. Turn the charger on, walk away from the car and leave it. And I could leave the car in that situation for weeks and weeks and weeks, months and months and months. Then I know that is going to be charged. In fact, what I'll do is I'll unravel that cord, connect it to the car, connect it to that, and I'll show you it in operation. So there's my lead, there's the plug, let's connect it up and you can't get it wrong because these plugs that I'm using are keyed. So that is the connection made to the car, then I just run it like that, lock, shut the car up. I'd then run the other piece under the garage door, go to my charger and do exactly the same as I've just done in the car, orientate the plug and I will, I'm trying to do this with one hand, it's not very easy, there we go, I'm now connected from the charger to the car. Charger's plugged in. Let me show you the screen. What it's going to do, I'm going to turn it on. Charger's just fired up. And what's happening there now is I'm putting voltage into my battery. It's putting 13.3 volts in at 0.86 of an amp. And it's doing what it calls a bulk charge. That'll run now until that battery is totally full and then it'll go from bulk charge to maintain and I could leave that now there garage door shut, car connected up and bugger off on holiday for weeks and weeks and weeks leave it for months and months and months and I guarantee I'll come back to that car and it's going to start all you've got to do is I think they're about £40 buy the appropriate connectors, make the loom up and do this setup. Them are your three options. Jump pack off the connector under the fuse box. Make yourself a loom up to run off your trickle charger like I've got there or directly connect the battery charger to the jump point under the bonnet. Them are your options. But doing it the way I've done it here, maintenance charger connected to the car, lead run to the charger, charger's nice and safe, nobody can get to it, it's dry. All the connections are inside, this connection's in here so the weather can't get to it. That connection's in the car so the weather can't get to it. Car can be locked, left, and walk away. Forget about it. Guaranteed that car will start. It's that simple. It's all you need to do. I carry my NOCO in the car on a permanent basis. Just in case. I keep it in here. The NOCO's in the bag there. 
charged up, ready to go. My battery tester and a multimeter. They live there. So whatever scenario I find myself in, come to the car, I'm parked somewhere, battery's gone flat, I can start it with the NOCO. If I find another hybrid owner whose car won't start, get the NOCO out, get them going, they can get on their way.